Hey guys, I'm Cody, or by Bass Life Pro, and today I'd like to revisit one of my older SUS V10.2 tutorials. This one being, as the title reads, Rain Reflections. Yeah, you remember that one. Looking back, I kinda left you with only this look as your possibility of getting rain reflections working. Well, that was five months ago, and as you could imagine, things have definitely changed. Meaning, I now have a way to make your reflections look like this. And yes, I've had this information for a couple months now. I just really hadn't gotten around to sharing it. But anyways, yes, in the SUS V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. Alright, let's begin. First, have the C shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate gbuffers underscore terrain.fsh. Using Notepad++, open it up. From here, scroll down to line 333. In the previous Rain Reflections tutorial, my advice for enabling the wetness effect was to change this star sign to a plus sign, which is still relevant. If you haven't done that already, please do. At this point, reflections do show up, but the problem with this wetness effect is it's acting sort of like a large puddle casting outward over the blocks. What it should be doing is seeping inward between the crevices of the parallax textures. To emulate this, I have an adjustment for you. Not to be confused with any other number, let's focus on this one. Adjusting this number will give you direct access to the opacity of the larger water puddle. Currently, the number is set to 1.0F, or 100%. To fix the problem, 0.1F is what I recommend you use, since it's what I've been using. Of course, you could always mess around with this on your own. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. As you can see, this adjustment has worked, so I do hope you got something out of this. But before I end this video, I have one more flank to cover. What if you can't see the rain reflections after these changes, period? Well, the difference between me and you is I have specular maps added in addition to the original Chroma Hills textures. These allow the rain reflections to distribute nicely into the 3D blocks. If you don't have these, then reflections will simply not show up. So, since I'm unable to publicly transfer these custom specular maps to you, I have an alternative solution. In the description, I will link some other types of resource packs that I know already have these maps, so that you can effortlessly bring them in and use them. If you have any questions or need anything clarified, then ask me, since I know this can be considered more of a complicated type of video. Alright, if this Zeus tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!